I hope if you've been watching these videos and, and following along with this calculus course, I hope that you're being an active participant and, and really trying to, to solve the problems when they're presented. Because that will make you a better student a better and a better thinker, really. So, the limit as x approaches 0 of the tan x, or, or not the tan x, x, of tan x over x. If you have been doing what I suggested and trying to solve the problems on your own, then this one should be a little bit easier than some of the other ones, maybe. And, and why don't you pause the video and try, and try and solve this one on your own. And if you decided not to do that, we're just going to continue right along. Or if you did, then welcome back. So first step, I'm going to take the limit. And tan, to me, when I see it, sometimes it makes me want to rewrite it as sine over cos. Sine x over cos x. Because we know that that's really what it is. And so this is all over x. And this makes me want to, when I see a fraction over a fraction, I, I definitely want to simplify that. So I'm going to do that. So step two, we'll be taking the limit again. Of course, we always got to write the limit in. Of sine x over cos x times x. That's what happens when we simplify that. And now I'm going to rewrite this one more time. So, so far, all I've done, I haven't done any algebra, all I've done is simplified things by rewriting them. The limit as x approaches 0. And now I'm just going to take sine x and put it over x times by 1 over cos x. And these, th this again, it's just rewriting. I just took sine x over x and I factored it out, and and I was left with one over cos x. And if you do this multiplication, you should see that that the limit and step two and the limit in step three are definitely equal. Okay, so I'm going to switch colors for no reason. Step four. The limit as x approaches zero, or or sorry, again. I don't actually even need to, to write the limit because now I'm at a place where I can evaluate. Sine x over the limit as x approaches zero of sine x over x, we know from the last video that that's just equal to one. And so we have one times and then one over cos x. When x is approaching zero, cos x, it, or we can basically sub that zero in for x, or we can do that. And the cos of zero is just one. So that ends up being one over one. So we get one times one which of course is equal to 1. So this limit is equal to 1. OK. And step 4, I really should have written it as this is equal to 1 times 1. I think that makes a little bit more sense, which is equal to 1. Anyways, so the limit as tan x over, uh, as x approaches 0 of tan x over x equals 1. And now you know. So let's do a couple more examples here that I want to show you. They're, they're variations of things we've seen already. And why don't I erase this problem, actually, too? All right. So let's look at the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine of 3x over x. Hmm. You may be thinking that, well, you know, 3x, it doesn't matter what, what that number is, we're, we're just going to do, do sine x over x, and this will be 1. No, that's not, that's not true. We can't do that. What we're going to do is we are going to do something a little bit fancy, and we're going to multiply by 3 over 3. And if you remember, hopefully you watched the, the properties of limits videos, or, or hopefully you know the property. 3, because we're multiplying by just a, a single number, this is a constant, and it's a multiple. So we can, we can take this, and we can bring it outside if we want. Or we could bring it inside, because we're multiplying. So we could do whatever we want. So we could write that in a way that's useful to us. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the first step, we're going to rewrite this all. So it's going to be, I'm going to write 3, so I'm going to take the top, the, 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 um, 
the 3 in the numerator here, and I'm going to write it outside the limit. And I'm going to say this is equal to 3 times the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine of 3x over 3x. And now maybe you can see why, why we did that. Now this is looking like something maybe we're a little bit more comfortable with. OK, so step two is to make a substitution. I'm going to say let 3x equal u. And why u? u is a common letter used for substitution. I'm really not sure why. So 3x equals u. Not u the person, but the letter u. And then step number three, we're going to note from this equation, the only way x goes to zero, to zero, if and only if u goes to zero. In other words, the only way that u could be zero or u could even be approaching zero is if x is approaching zero. And vice versa. The only way x could possibly be approaching zero is if u is approaching zero. So we just had to make that note so that we could we could go ahead with the next step, which is to say or or which is to make our substitution. So now we're gonna take say three times the limit. And we said as long as x is go or if x is going to zero, u has to go to zero. And if u has to or if u is going to zero, x has to go to zero. So we can we can be confident in writing the limit as u approaches zero. We can make that substitution because we basically we showed ourselves that 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 these two statements, if one is true, the other has to be true. Okay. So we have the limit as u goes to zero of the sine of u over u. I don't know why this side of the screen always gets more blocky. If you've been following along, I wonder if you've noticed that. Maybe you can comment on the video. Um, I wonder if there's something wrong with my pen tablet at that point, if it's scratched, or I don't know. It's, it's, it bugs me every time I see it, though. Anyways, okay, so let's continue. So we have three times this limit. Well, this limit should be familiar to you. If we changed y all those u's to x's, I mean, we're not going to because we already s we started with x's, but if we did, then it would be the exact same limit that you've already seen. So, so don't let the fact that it's u's confuse you, but this limit is equal to 1. So we get this is, is going to be equal to three times, and then the whole limit becomes one, so it's three times one, which is equal to one. Uh oh, which is three times one is equal to one, jeez. Three times one, which is equal to three. So this limit turns out to be equal to three. Let me, let me, um, I don't want to waste your time or anything, but let me just rewrite it so you can really see what the limit was and what the answer is. So the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine of 3x over x equals 3. OK, great. So I will uh, see you in the next video.